Hey everyone. Well, I am outside by my pond with the boys. They're over in the circle and running around the yard um, when we are out celebrating the super moon. Yay! So anyway, I wanted to make a real quick video talking about celebrating the S-Bots and the Sabbats and being an everyday pagan. Now, one of the things, if, if you've read um, my little uh, descriptor of me on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page or on my website, it says author, teacher, spiritual empowerment coach, psychic, and everyday pagan. Now, the reason why that I put everyday pagan is to remind people that us witches are pagans every day, not just on the sabbats and on the espots. And this is something that my students know quite well. This is my mission <laughs> as a teacher and mentor of the pagan path is I really, that that's one of my main goals as a teacher is to bring about that confidence and that trust in yourself and that belief in yourself that what it is that you're doing matters and everything that you do is magical you know just because it says something in a book does not mean that that is how it is for you okay one of the things also that i talk about in my videos all the time is does it ring true for you is is what you're reading, is what you're experiencing, is what you're doing, does it ring true for you? Or does it just kind of, eh, it doesn't really resonate, it doesn't really sit well with you. You know, and it meaning everything. If you're doing a ritual, if you're doing a circle, and you feel like calling the quarters in, in a different directional pattern, go for it. You know, this is your tradition, this is your path. Just because it's written in a book that you have to do it certain ways, at certain times of the day, or certain times of the night, if that doesn't ring true for you, don't do it, you know? And I think most of, well, I know most of the emails that I get from people asking questions and, and wanting, um, I guess validation is actually what it is because they've done a spell or they've done something and they're not sure it's going to work. And you know, I've had people say, well, you know, it felt so perfect, but it's not how it's said in the book. And so I don't know if it's going to work. And, you know, like I said in my interview with Moon Mother, believe in yourself. I said this right at the end. Believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself and trust in yourself, your magic is going to work. You know, and your life is magical. Every breath you take, you're, you're using and working with the element of air. Okay, every time you eat something... If it's warm, you're, you're working with the elements of earth and fire. Every time you take a hot shower, that's fire and water. You know? I mean, think about every time you dance and sing and have fun, that's the element of spirit. You know? So every time that you do anything, you're working with the elements. You're working in harmony with all of the elements in your life and acknowledging that everything that you do is magical. Everything that you say is magical. But the biggest thing is having that trust and that belief in yourself that what you're doing, you innately know. You know your path. You know your truth. Most of the pagans that I speak to, most of my friends, all of us, at one time or another, had this this deep longing and this deep desire to find out our truth. And so maybe we, we went from religion to religion to religion saying, gosh, I know there's something out there. I know there's got to be something more than this. This meaning the religion or path that we grew up in. And when we found paganism, all of us said, oh, I feel, I finally feel like I'm home. I finally feel like that you know, I finally figured out what I am, you know, I finally figured out who I am. And with that awakening, with that acknowledgement of, yes, I'm a witch. Yes, this is, this is who I am. That is, that starts that stirring inside of you, that belief, because you finally are like, yes, this is it. I know, I know who I am. I know what I am. 
even though yes witch is just a label and yes paganism is just a label but it's that deep connection that we have to the earth it's that deep connection we have to all things living and when you begin practicing we read books and we look at youtube videos and we look at society and what you know their 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 um you know personification of what a witch is and you know sometimes that just doesn't fit the bill you know yes we like cauldrons and chalices and athames and wands and all this other stuff but if that doesn't ring true for you to work with that stuff don't do it ultimately we are natural witches we go out in nature and we work with the elements the elements are the basis and the foundation for all things that we do you know working with the divine whether you call it god or goddess or divine one energy you know that is that creation energy source that that life force that essence and when you begin this path all of us all of us have been here we've we've purchased books after books after books and read books and books and books and read websites and watched videos thinking oh my gosh i have to catch up i i want to learn as much as i can as soon as i can so that i can you know um I guess make up for lost time. <laughs> I think all of us have been there. But the easiest, fastest way to remember your path that is in you, that is that is totally, it's in you. It's all in you. And all you have to do is allow it to emerge. And the fastest way to do that is to slow down, take a deep breath, go within to your heart space and say, I believe in myself. I trust that what I'm getting is true for me. And I don't have to do it the way this book says. I don't have to do it the way that book says. I don't have to do it the way this YouTube video says. The only way that I should do it is the way that it feels right and true for me in my heart and in my path. And when you're out in ritual or when you're out in circle or when you're at work and you feel like, oh my gosh, I just, I need to calm down or I'm just, I'm stressed out or whatever. Go outside, take a deep breath, find your center and ask the elements, ask yourself, ask your spirit, ask the divine, ask, please help me remember what I need to do. You know, this, this path is within every single one of us. And you know, one of the things, well, you know, I, I mentioned this earlier in this video, my mission as a teacher of the pagan path is to help you remember and to help you believe and, and trust in yourself that what you know is true. It really is true. I mean, this is your path. And no book can change that. Yes, books are great because we can read other people's points of view and points of, of perspective and, and what they do and, and, and see their path, which a lot of the times is very helpful because that helps us to spark that remembrance. It helps us to go, oh yeah i knew that and then that can springboard us to our own path and our own awakening because yes i mean a lot of us have have shut down and a lot of us are sleeping um and don't have our psychic abilities and don't have our intuitive sense awakened and even though it's innate in all of us every single one of us is psychic every single one of us is intuitive every single one of us can remember but we have to just ask and allow that remembrance to happen. And that's why all of us in this path have sought out the truth for us. And when we find out that truth, we go, oh, yes, this is it. And, and we remember and we say, yes, this is who I am. And that really does create that awakening and that really does create that remembrance. And all you have to do, yes, you know, like I said, books are good to help to spark that remembrance. But I'm telling you, one of the fastest ways, and I see this in my students every week, every time I have a new student start my year in a day program, and I have them go within and sit with each of the elements for one week, they have these huge epiphanies and these huge aha moments, and they're just like, oh my gosh, I've learned more in three weeks or four weeks in this class than I have in years and years and years of studying. So really, you don't have to take my year in a day program to do this. Just sit each week, you know, one one element per week. Um, sit with them, sit with deity, sit with each thing that you work with, sit with each tool, 
Sit with everything that calls to you. Sit with your pendulum, work with your pendulum, work with your cards, work with your runes, work with every single thing that you're guided to do. Spend time to get to know that particular tool or that particular element or that particular deity because when you do that, you allow that energy, that vibration of whatever that is, whether it's deity or an element or a pendulum or a crystal or an herb or a color, you allow that energy to come and commingle with your energy. You can start to have that relationship with it so that once you are called to do a spell or called to do some type of manifestation, you know exactly what energy to go with and, and to, to work with. So if you are wanting stable energy, let's just say that for you, you grew up on a lake and the lake was a very placid, very stable lake. So for you, water is a very stable element. So if you want to do a spell about stability, you may want to call on the element of water. But you know when you are called to do a spell, you're going to instantly be drawn to that particular energy because you have spent the time with that particular element, with that particular thing, item, whatever it is, whether it's deity or, you know, any, any deity or entity or energy, um, you'll, you, you already know the energy imprint of it, you already know the vibrational energy of that particular thing, so that when you're called to do a spell, any type of spell or any type of manifestation, you know exactly what to bring into your circle, you know exactly what to bring in to aid in your manifestation. So, yay! Okay. Um, <sighs> wow, this energy is absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope I'm not rambling too much. But I just really want to remind everybody out there, trust in yourself. Please, please, please trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. This is your path. You know exactly what you need to do. Okay? All you have to do and, and, and if you feel like that you're not clear, just sit and ask yourself. Because you know, you know, you have all the answers. You know your truth. You just have to believe and trust in yourself. So, yay! Blessed be everyone and blessed full moon. Yay!